of these creatures. They are so doomed. It's outstanding. Hey, you'll like this one. Come look. Oh no. What have they done now? Control and ownership of their group enterprises is divided up into shares. All right, and the members of the group must get one share each democratically? No, this is what I'm saying. Instead, the capital genus buys and sells shares of ownership through brokers to the highest bidder in an electronic market. What? So the owners who benefit from the group's work, they're not even in the group. They might not actually do any work for the group at all. No, they usually don't. <laughs> they just sit there owning things. Yes. The capital genus, it makes money just from owning, and also from buying and selling these shares of ownership. <laughs> the things that they come up with, amazing. Anyway, the shares of ownership are held by the brokers on behalf of the owners. Yeah, makes sense. There's no point in shipping around certificates if you can just change your central ownership record. But get this. Sometimes the brokers let people sell someone else's shares. You what? They let people sell shares that they don't even own. That's right. The seller has to promise to replace it with new shares, which they promise to buy after the price has gone down. <laughs> That's mad. Is it legal? Well, yes, of course it's legal. The capital genus make the laws. So, what if the price goes up? Well, then they have to buy shares back at an higher price and they lose money. Well, it seems pretty risky. The profit is limited, but the losses, they could be infinite. Yes, and there's more. Imagine someone borrows a share and sells it, and then that buyer's broker loans it out to be sold again, and again, no. and again. <laughs> you could end up with more shares on loan than exist. That's right. <laughs> no way. And it happens all the time. But what if someone cornered the market on the shares? They could charge whatever they liked. The share debtors, they'd be forced to pay whatever was asked. Yes. The capital genus is hedging funds. They do that to each other now and then. They call it a short squeeze. There are many records of bankruptcies. <laughs> Crazy. Usually they leave each other alone. Just part of the many games that the capital genus plays to enrich themselves. A sort of non-aggression pact between monopolists, because they all know that they're all doing it. Yes, but a group of trolls and nerds on Reddit calling themselves Wall Street Bets. They noticed that this one stock, GameStop, was crazy overborrowed like that. There were more shares loaned out than existed because some had been loaned out more than once in a chain. Yes, they noticed that. And so they all started hyping each other up into buying the stock, driving up its price and forcing the edge funds into bigger and bigger losses. Amazing. A people's mutiny at last. Maybe the planet is saved. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet the capital genus didn't like that. <laughs> Not one bit. What did they do? Well, it's simple really. They just stopped allowing buy orders. So what, they cheated? Well, the rules always said they could do that. And the people put up with it. They don't really have any choice. The markets are designed to enrich the capital genus. And the capital genus make the rules. Amazing. No wonder the planet is collapsing. The best bit is, Wall Street bets were only ever in it for the lulls. They weren't even serious. They aren't trying to bring down capitalism, it's a meme channel. They didn't even notice the short squeeze until it was well underway. <laughs> the people on their own planet will be dumbfounded when they find out. This kind of thing could easily contribute to a global collapse. The news will spread like a virus. Yeah, everyone watching press share and retweet. 